Um, you know what's even stranger? Discord worked on the uh, stream today. It's amazing. Um, yep. You love to see it, because usually the last couple weeks it hasn't, so that saved me some time. But we're here to talk about Final Fantasy... The... the theater Rhythm. Theater Rhythm. That's it. We can't just have normal words. We have to com combine them together into a mishmash of a word. It can't just be theater, space, rhythm. It has to be theater rhythm. Theater rhythm. Theater rhythm. Uh, okay. I assume this is some kind of rhythm game, given the name. I feel yeah. like that's very self-explanatory. Um, but 30 songs from the Final Fantasy universe uh, launching on PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. Can I already comment here? Was this on PS5 before? Um, the last game was a Switch exclusive. Sorry, not a Switch exclusive. A 3DS exclusive. The last game. Okay, that must have come out a long time ago. Yeah, it came out like... Oh, I want to say like 2011, 2012. Something like that. In that area. So... PS4? I, I mean, that means PS5, right? But... Uh, maybe it's not a P. I, I I don't know. Why? What? What a weird like what a weird thing. It's like PS4 and Switch, which you know I like Switch makes sense obviously. PS4 fine. Why not PS5? Just like put the name in there. Also, this is the kind of game. It's just like put it on the PC. Like who cares? Put it on the PC. This is definitely something that should be on Steam. I feel like. Uh, I, I mean, like, it's on PS4 and Nintendo Switch, so there's no, like, requirement for a touch screen. it seems like, or something along the line. No. No. So, like, why not put it on PC? I, I just, I don't get it. That being said, I mean, I'm, I'm generally lukewarm on rhythm games. Like, they're fun, but they're nothing I go out of the way for, personally. Yeah, I know. But Final Fantasy music is, is great, and so I think this kind of thing works out pretty well for especially for people who are like really into the final fantasy music yeah if you're a final fantasy fan yeah and at least don't mind like there are some people who just don't play rhythm games right. and then that's fine but um yeah there's in the base version of the game there's like 400 songs in it oh jesus christ <laughs> from across wow. all of all of final fantasy basically and then right. there's a bunch of DLCs that you can buy. Like, this game actually gets really expensive. It's $50, like, base for the base game. Okay, I know it's 400 songs, but... Okay? okay. I mean, Melody of Memory was, Melody of Memory was 60 yeah. so... Like... Rhythm games for me should not be more than $30. That's my take. That's my hot take for the day on, on games. Uh, that's just my uh, take. I, I mean, yeah. It, it's... Not fair enough. I don't agree. I don't agree. <laughs> it's not with you, complicated. Fine. fine. Fair enough. Um, so it's fifty dollars, but then there's a digital deluxe and a like super blowjob digital deluxe yeah, ed there's. edition. So the uh, the the super the super premium digital deluxe edition is literally twice the price of the game. It's a hundred dollars, um, and it comes with. There's some bonus. There's some bonus songs that come in the, and then there's like three or four DLC packs, and the DLC packs is what you really want, because those include songs from things that aren't Final Fantasy. It's other Square Enix pro oh, properties. Oh, I see. Octopath, how they get you. Octopath, mm -hmm. Near, Chrono, yeah. Saga, World Ends with You, like. That's what they so do. It, that's that's how they get you. They got you that way. A hundred dollars. My statement the, stands. No rhythm game should cost more and, than thirty. And the total, like, the total songs, if you get all the DLC, is like over five hundred. So you're getting an extra like hundred something songs I mean, from a, like the DLC. It's but. a lot of songs. To be to be clear, it is a lot of songs. I'm not discounting that at all. But God, I I just yeah. It always is strange when I see a rhythm game fifty to fifty to sixty dollars. For me i'm like really yep. 50 to 60 but you know not the biggest crime to humanity certainly when no. when you see a rhythm game 
when I see it that much. It's just like, no, really, I'm like, the it's biggest, not the, that the, complicated. The biggest crimes to humanity in gaming, to me, are like the sports games right now. Like oh, Madden. the sports games are Madden. bad. Oh, sports games are bad. The, the, at this point, like, Madden should be free to play at this. Like, literally, you shouldn't have to buy the game. All of them should like, be free, It's, it's that bad. All of them should be free. Like, those games should be free to free to play at this point. Like, just stop. It's nonsense. They should like, be free to play. I agree 100%. Those games should be free yeah. to play. And, you know, they don't make their money off necessarily. Like, the, the no, vast the majority of the money purchase. is not coming from the sales yeah, it's at from all. The card packs. So, I, I agree. I don't think those should be paid for at all. But that's so, yeah. And anyways, if you're, a, if you're a fan of Final Fantasy slash Square Enix music, this is a cool nod to it. Um, there's a lot of content in this game. Um, so, yeah. The, I mean, the demo, it came out on what tuesday or wednesday i think um and mm. it's fun you know if you've played the previous the, the i think there's two previous ones as i said the last one was on 3ds so it came out like over 10 years ago but yep. um yeah um game's fun demo's fun um i'm definitely gonna get this uh on switch because this is a great game for on the go to yeah, be honest course. yeah um even if this had a PC version, I think I would still get it on Switch because, yeah, it's just a good on the it's a good on the go game, right? Basically, yeah. Rhythm so. games tend to be good on the go. Those are, that is true. I I think rhythm games on the go are really good. Um, okay, I have nothing to say. Like I said, I'm lukewarm yeah. on this stuff. You know, I yeah. thirty bucks. That's yeah. That's what I think. So yeah, it's it, it's fun, and you know, if you're into the music, then you know, probably probably worth a buy. Again, yeah, sure. it's maybe a, a little steep on the price. You could make that argument. I wouldn't disagree with you completely. Um, what I, I I don't think the base price is that unreasonable. I think the DLC is too expensive. What's the DLC you uh, said? If you want all of it, yeah, yeah. it's another fifty. It's a hundred dollars for the full package. They get you. They get you, man. They yeah. get they get you with that. But again, no, the biggest crime to gaming uh also is the Sims. The oh, Sims God. has more DLC packs than than animal than different species of the animal kingdom. You're just <laughs> so many freaking packs. Doctor, you know, new jobs packs, holiday packs sex packs i have no freaking idea there's probably all sorts of stuff yeah. for the sims that's a crime sims is bad there's the uh the paradox strategy games tend to do a, they tend to do a ton of dlc, do a ton of DLC. for those yeah. as well like stellaris like the ones have been around a long time like stellaris and europa universalis and hearts of iron those games like they just have like 10 15 yeah. dlc packs or something like that like if you wait for them to go on sale and there's like a huge bundle it's not that bad right but if you're buying them all the cart they're like 15 20 bucks each and you're gonna pay like 300 dollars for that game or something like that so yeah that yeah i mean yeah you um, just kind of discount those total total war does that as well total war does do that they do a, so much dlc for for those games usually if i look um, at a dlc list and i have to start scrolling i'm concerned <laughs> yeah. i'm like yeah yeah what yeah because yeah. yeah, i looked at total wars dlc list and i'm like what the fuck yeah like a couple new heroes that you can or care or care heroes a faction or a new faction you can play as whatever yeah. and i'm like oh my god why am i scrolling um but anyway Ugh. all right yeah. and there's like as i said the demo is fun check it out if you're interested and uh the game is actually like quite challenging if you want it to be like the lowest difficulty for the songs is very easy the intermediate difficulty is reasonable yeah. and then there's like a there's ultimate which gets pretty hard and then there's supreme which is new to this game and that is just not so insane. Like, hmm. no fun edition. Yeah, it's like the no fun version. You're just like, ah. yeah. All right, let me see. Back for Blood announced it's ending development for its co-op shooter. Um, I I played this game. I just want to start because I did play this game. I didn't hate it at all. You know, I thought it was all right. It's okay to play with a group. 
It's actually, like, the campaign's actually a little bit longer than I expected it was. But I can tell you right now, once we finished that campaign, I was like, well, that was fun. And, st and never thought about playing it again. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I, a game like this, you want to be very replayable, and if it wasn't, then that's that's kind of a fail. Right. And I think in the state that it's in, it's perfectly reasonable as a game um, to play with friends, though, I don't know. It, it definitely just, it was missing things to get to, get to that point of addiction that Le uh, Left 4 Dead had, had sort of locked in on. I, I'm curious to see what their next game is going to be. I'm wondering if they try a a, a second game in this series. I, I would like to see them try a second game and they patch up the issues. There were plenty of issues. This this felt like it was a it was an undercooked version of Left 4 Dead, which is, is surprising to say. But it was a little undercooked. There were definitely things that were just it felt like we're missing. Yeah. So. But I'm not surprised they stopped because I can imagine the the core audience for the game dwindled like significantly. I'm sure there still is like a small one, but at some point you got to be like, okay, we can't unless this is like crazy addicting. We can't keep going. We got to do a next game because it's not like you're going to get your full audience back that was there like day one, you know, first week, first month. You got to get a new game to to bring it back, and I, I am interested to see if they try another. I would actually like them to see a try another. I, I like this kind of game because I get to play with a group. You know, it's not that bad on Steam. Like I'm looking at Steam charts right now. They have an they've they've hold, holding an average between like two and four K mm -hmm. for the past like year or so. Like that's not too bad that's to not be bad. honest. No, for it's a not. game that that from what I, for at least from like my outsider view, like right. this game wasn't liked that well by a lot of people. Like they kind of felt like you did, where it's like yeah, it was so, fun yeah, to play fine. once, but they didn't really want to replay it. Right. So, I I would like to see another one though. I think I would love to give them another chance to to really tighten this up and try again. I, I'd be more than open to to playing that. I, I do think there was some some potential, and I like playing. I mean, I like playing with people. It's just. Yeah. You're kind of like, do you really want to do this again? Not really. I I don't know. That's how I felt. I was very very lukewarm on this game. Didn't regret it, but definitely didn't. Yeah, didn't find it addicting. And it didn't scratch. It didn't scratch the itch like Left 4 no. Dead did. Left 4 Dead is just I don't know. It's it's unique. Very unique experience. It, it's there's a lot going for it that I just didn't get there for this one. Well, Left 4 Dead is essentially carried by mods at this point. Um, people just modding the shit out of that game to play as, yeah. like, Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> and Mario and, like, I saw people playing as, like, 2B and Nier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... I mean, you can... You know what that that's gonna be in Left 4 Dead. Um, just playing as the most ridiculous things, like Genshin Impact characters. Oh, yeah. That, that like, those mods make it you know, even better. This game, I'm just not so sure that's that's the case at all. But, yeah, I'm not yeah. sad about them ending development by any means. I do think they should try another, though. I, I'd give them another chance. Well, see, I'm trying... The other game that I remember that this studio made was Evolve. Yeah. Do you remember that game? Yeah. Um, and I don't know what they made other than this and, and that game. Um, yeah, but... Evolve was an interesting game as well. Had a lot of hype, lost a lot of it. They kind of like, I don't know, there was like a story on Evolve with a lot of things that happened and Evolve obviously being a, not having the uh, grand um, runway that it maybe should have from them. But like this particular game, I I'd give them another chance on it. I would. Oh, they made a bunch of, uh, after Evolve, they made, in between Evolve and Back for Blood, they made a bunch of, uh, um, Oculus, they made some Oculus games, some VR stuff. Yeah. I'd give them another chance on this one. But yeah, they're, they're most known for Left 4 Dead, uh, Evolve, and Back for Blood. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, I give him one more. I give him one more shot. That's where I'm at. I don't, I don't yeah. have anything else. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. I mean, yeah. Okay, here's some more news. Redfall will require an online connection, even in single player, Bethesda confirms. How do you feel about this? Online require gaming. I mean, I have always kind of been the oppositionist on this and that, like, I don't care that much about requiring an online connection because obviously this leaves some people out. I'm not going to say it doesn't affect anybody because that's just not true. Right. But I think the vast majority of gamers um, have an online, have, like, have an always online connection and it doesn't make a big deal. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah, I think people get annoyed in very specific circumstances with stuff like this. Like, oh, what if my power, you know, well, not power goes out. I'm sorry, not that. But, like, what if my internet goes out? Yeah. What if my internet goes out? Which happens, and Which power goes out. goes out too occasionally. But, like, yeah, okay, so then you can't play for, like, a few hours until they restore yeah. your internet. Fine. Like The other issue that this has is what happens when their servers go down. Yeah, then it's just dead. Then it's dead. Nobody can play. You can't even play single player. That's usually what I would imagine be the arguments against something like this. Well, when you have to do maintenance, your game is down. You know, in a sing in a version of the game where you can play single player, you wouldn't have that issue. You would just be able to go in and play single player, and then once the maintenance is over, the door is open for multiplayer. There's also no reason why it should be online only for a single player kind of experience. Um, I don't yeah. understand that, but. I think those are, my guess is those are the arguments that people are presenting. Um, that being said, like for me, it doesn't really bother me because I, I, you know, I'm using internet connection all the time. If my internet did go out, I mean, like there'd be a lot of things I couldn't do. You can't do Steam. You can't do any yep. Steam stuff when the internet's out. So, whatever. Like that's the other thing too is like, when your internet goes out, like Steam's out. You can't play any games. Um, I think for console players, there's probably frustration. Like, oh, well, you know, I don't have Xbox, whatever. I don't know if they they fixed it for this too, but like if you don't have a Xbox Live account connection, you know, you couldn't play Redfall. I guess. I guess that's one thing. I don't know. I don't, I don't think you would have to pay for Xbox Live to play. I don't remember if they fixed that. I that think they changed... I'm pretty sure like online play is free now on, oh, on Xbox. That's right. Okay. It's just game. It's just game. Pass it's just game pass you, okay. that you have to pay for. I'm pretty. I, I don't remember exactly if that's true, but I remember seeing a story a while ago that like gold wasn't really a thing anymore, and it's just game pass. Yeah. But still, like if your power goes out, you're on you're on the or not power. God, I keep saying power. If your internet goes out, you're on your console. Yeah. yeah you're, you're not host. playing this. You're not playing this. I don't know. And then, I yeah, can... if they do maintenance, you're right. Then it's going to be down not... for the whole game a little while. Not... But I mean, that's obviously it's not an MMO, so it's weird for like a, a potentially single player game right. to do this. But people have dealt with that for a long time yes. with the MMOs and stuff like that. When maintenance happens in MMOs, you can't play the game. Like yeah, you, just you just gotta wait. You just sit you just around. Gotta yeah, wait. You gotta wait. So I, I mean, it's for me. I don't, I don't mind too much. I don't really care. That being said, like I can see the arguments and frustration people would have. Yeah, no, I, I get it. I get why people don't like this. Um, especially, yeah, for if there's someone who literally doesn't care about the multiplayer and only wants to play the game single player, then sure, I, yeah. I, I see it. But yeah, for me, I, I don't I don't care that much because if I do play this, if I do play this game, I want to I want to play with with other people. I'm playing like, multiplayer. I wanna, yeah, I'm playing multiplayer with like. Yeah, with you, Auto, and whoever else wants to play, probably. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I, I hate to say this, but this, like, let's let's just make the connection. This is like Left 4 Dead. You really playing Left 4 Dead single player? Is anybody going to? Why? Why would you? I, I mean, like, I'm sure there is, but like, why? Why would you do that? It's like, it's a game that, it's not just it's meant for multi for for other people to play with you. It's like, it's just way better, like way, yep. way, 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 way better, to a crazy degree when other people are playing with you. You know, and that and that's not necessarily always the case with multiplayer games. For example, Pokemon is not necessarily way, 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 way better when someone joins your world. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. 
it frankly doesn't really do anything. So, like, yeah, I think, I don't know, for me, I don't really care, because I'd only be playing with people anyway. Yeah, same. I Again, if I, if I do play this, I will only play it in multiplayer. Basically, right. I probably won't, won't do single player at all. Right. But, anyway. 